Good morning. You guys ready for the weekend? All right, so I hope to see you at church on Sundays, okay? So, boys and girls, one of the things I'm doing this Lent is I decided to give up bread, right? So and that includes some really good stuff like cookies, right? And um, now that I've given up bread, I've never seen Father Andrew eat more bread in front of me in my whole life, right? <laughs> and we kind of laugh about it because Father Andrew and I, are re- we've been friends for 10 years. But, you know, he kind of loves to eat the bread in front of me, tells me how wonderful it is. On Sunday, he has the donut, and he tells me how much he loves the donut, right? And it makes me laugh because that's what friends do to each other sometimes, right? We like to joke with each other, and we like to tease each other, and that's okay as long as it's in good fun. But what happens when we stop treating each other with respect and love, right? And there's sometimes that in the, during the school day that maybe we don't treat each other with respect and love. And we adults are guilty of that too. So what does our gospel tell us today? To love your neighbor as yourself. So every one of us wants to be treated with respect, yes or no? And we all want it to be told and be reminded that we're loved by God and by our family. So as we continue this day today, I hope and pray that if I check in with all of your teachers today, they're going to tell me that today was such a good day that we treated each other with respect and we built each other up. So boys and girls, I want you to know how proud we are of you here. And we hope today, especially for us adults too, that we go about our day treating each other as we would want to be treated. Because nobody likes to be made fun of, do they? Nobody likes to be teased, but what we do know what works is loving each other and reminding each other that we're all on the same team, the team of Jesus Christ. So Father Andrew can keep eating a donut in front of me, and I'm still going to love him anyway, okay? So that's what I'm going to eat on Easter Sunday, all right? So let's just bow our heads right now, and let's think of somebody in our life that maybe we haven't treated with respect. Maybe somebody that we need to love more, be patient with more. Maybe it's somebody here at school or a family member, a coworker. So let's think of somebody that we need to love more as Jesus is telling us in this gospel.